And hello to you from the metropolis on the River Main, the city of Frankfurt. We're at the Deutsche Bank Park. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It's Eintracht Frankfurt, and they face Union Berlin. I'm excited, Derek. Really looking forward to this game. Come on, bring it on. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, we say to each other in the back four, don't give him a yard because he will score. Don't give this lad half a yard. He's such a great finisher. And the contest begins. Barcock. Kostic. Armstrong. Well, he's given it away. Christian Gentner. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, for Eintracht Frankfurt, a very good victory in the last game against Schalke. What are you looking for on this particular occasion, Lee? Well, they had too much in all departments in the last game, winning away from home 3 0. I'm predicting another win today, Derek, that's for sure. That's a well struck pass. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Abonigi. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. And this is how the table looks, just to confirm, a victory would catapult them into the Europa League next season, Lee. Well, yeah, they want to be playing European football, of course, plenty of money involved in that. And it's always great for the fans, I always think of the fans at times like this, particularly the ones who travel every week. It does seem inevitable they'll do it, but hopefully they might get the job done today. Corner kick played in. Must take the lead here. Great work defensively, but still the chance. And options in the centre. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. Ariana Demi. Unable to keep the ball. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. This looks promising. Oh, great defending. It is a decent looking attack here. Beautifully timed. Nicolas Gonzalez. Zuber. Can he put it away? Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Well, they were so close to taking the lead, weren't they? They just have to keep creating scoring opportunities and surely the goal will come. Well, it wasn't a taxing save. Zuber.
might be able to get in behind the defence. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. And he's beaten his man comprehensively. Well, a moment he would dearly love to have back. Well, listen, he's tried to hit it too hard. Just relax a little bit, focus on your technique. Well, he'd be disappointed about that end product, but he'd be happy they're creating a chance or two. A foul, but advantage played. Rustic. Gonzalez with it. Can he take advantage? And disappointingly, he got completely underneath that. Well, here's a coaching tip. Long range shot, lean back equals over the bar. I always listen to your coaching tips, Lee. <laughs> Ariana Demi. Ektal. Aboniyi. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. News of a goal at the VV Car Arena. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. 35 minutes played. 1 0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. The hosts have really controlled possession. However, after that, the coach. This could be the equaliser. And still danger here. Well, the pressure is building. Surely they would get back into this. The fans think so. Just listen to them. A chance to whip it in. Fruitful looking attack. They are a goal down, but perhaps a chance to create something from this corner. The noise is great. Can the players react to that? Can they equalise? Played into the centre of the box. A decisive clearance it was. It might be on for them. Timely intervention. Bodies forward and the break looks on. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Aboniyi. And it might be. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Well, it had to be a penalty and a booking part of the story as well. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, as we see, this is probably the best angle. He picked his spot, he didn't change his mind, and the keeper's got no chance. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored.
Substitution time it is. It's going their way, 2-0. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Lee. Well, they've really struggled to keep him under wraps today. He's simple. His movement really causes defenders problems, and he's done that again today. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Ekdal. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Going well. Zuber. Will it be? Well, he's missed it, and you have to be opportunistically when you're chasing a game. Two goals down. You've got to take chances like that, Derek. Just a quick reminder, we'll have DFB Pokal semi-final action for you live on EA TV. It's Eintracht Frankfurt facing Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, both teams are going to be very nervous for that one, Derek. One more knockout game and you're in the final. I'm nervous for everybody concerned. Defended well. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And a goal has gone in in the Augsburg game, I'm hearing. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Borussia Dortmund. 55 minutes, please. 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Able to close down the shot. A very good tackle. Andre Silva. That's how to rob them of possession. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. A goal as they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Substitution time it is here. So there we have it. 2-1. Half an hour remaining then. Armstrong. Can he do it? And that will be a corner. Played into the centre of the box. And he clears the danger. Dangerous looking attack. But it can't get all the way through. Chance to cross. Sends it back. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack?
Well, this is the home of live football, and we have more action from the Bundesliga coming up. It's Union Berlin against Augsburg. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast-flowing football there. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. Andre Silva. Creative look about this. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, there's all types of goals, spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So a personnel change then. Well, as the game has restarted, we're left to reflect on four goals. 2-2. Two -two. They look as though they want to make this move count. He could pick out a teammate. Well, thumped clear. Breaking at pace. Andre Silva. Oh, a tremendous block. Can he put them in front? It's in! And this really takes your breath away. A comeback and a half. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. But you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Ekdal. Well, just listen to the atmosphere, Derek. It's been such a tight game, but can they see this out now? The fans are certainly doing their bit. Vision, can he get onto this? Over the touchline for a throw in. Could cross it in here. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalize. So, deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Corner kick played in. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Ariana Demi. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. A room to roam on the wing. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter, have to deal with the danger. Not good enough at all defensively.
Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Super tackle and they've won possession. Aydin Hrustic. Armstrong. Good tackle. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Dominguez. Kostic. And they are on the move again. It looks promising. Can he take the chance? Oh, good save. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. And firing it into the area. The final whistle then. And now, at the very least, we know they'll be playing Europa League football next season. Still the possibility they could end up in the Champions League. Well, Europa League box ticked. Champions League still hasn't been ticked yet, but they've got a good chance. And do you know what, Derek? They'll keep going right to the end. Good job.